action takers, are you one of the many people that's been forced to start working remotely? Today my husband just came home early. His company's gonna be shut down for the next couple weeks. There are hundreds of thousands of people right now that are working remotely, and I wanted to give you my power tips today for how to do amazing work from home and probably actually even capitalize. Hey, Kirby, how's it going? I see you over there on Facebook. <clears throat> So let's talk about some ways that you can still crush it while working from home. First things first, you absolutely have to think about your environment. What type of setup do you have? Do you have a home office? Do you, if you don't have that, do you have a place in your home that you can set up as your home office? Like, don't underestimate the power of spending a little bit of time to create a corner of your home that is dedicated for your work so that you can stay focused and really be present during that time while you're working remotely and just make it effective. The second thing to think about is your family. Do you have other people that are at home? When my husband came home this afternoon, the first thing I asked him is says, how can I best support you? Because we're both going to be working from home now and we share an office. His desk is actually right there. And I asked him, I said, hey, what does this need to look like for you for the next two weeks so that you can be supported? Like logistically, he needs to have his monitor. He's a software engineer and he has a daily stand up meeting at 11 a.m. And I will probably have coaching calls going on during that same time. So now that we've had a chance to just like compare our calendars, like I need to check in with him. He's my coworker now. So um, we need to figure that out. Perhaps you have kids that are at home. Is this something that you have to think about? This might be in conjunction with your environment question. Do you maybe need to work from a coffee shop? I was at my local Phil's today and it was packed. There was a ton of people working from there. Now, does that really solve our problem of not touching people during this like time where we're all kind of trying to juggle our health and make sure that we're doing this right, safe things? What Follow the guidance of your area of whatever the health um, districts are putting out for you. Right here in my area, it's safe to be at local coffee shops. It's safe to be in areas where gatherings are less than 100 people. So make sure you look up what the health directives are in your area so that you can find a place that's safe and comfortable if a home is not uh, the right place for you to work in. Okay, let's talk about tools. This one I think is the most underestimated thing that um, I've learned of so many tools that I would love to have brought to my time working in corporate and I wanna share them with you. Use video. Use the most media rich way of communicating with your coworkers, with your direct reports, with your manager is humanly possible. The more that you can have video engagement, either video conferencing, and even if you can't do video conferencing, send videos to each other. There's a great website called loom.com where you can send videos and you can share your screen. Now, of course, make sure that you comply with your non-disclosure agreements and whatever company you're working at. But even if you just film a video, put it in a secure Dropbox, something along those lines, find ways to have those media rich engagements. So the order of priority is definitely gonna be meet on a video conference, number one. If you can't touch each other, you can't be in the same room. Level two is gonna be to send a video communication to that person where you're waiting for them to send one back to you. Level three is gonna be a voice memo and then finally text. How many times have you had an email engagement that was super frustrating? You went back and forth and back and forth, but if you could just have gotten yourselves together in a room, you could have figured it out in a couple of minutes. Make sure you're leveraging your tools. Use ScreenShare, really basic, simple tool. If you are a Mac user, I'm sorry, I don't have like a Windows recommendation here. Just use QuickTime. Open up QuickTime, film yourself doing a little screen share, and then um, be able to share that video with your coworkers. And last but not least, get creative and have a little fun. Think about how much time you might be saving if you are a commuter. Think about how many more hours you're gonna have in the next couple of weeks. When I was working in corporate, I did a, a time log. I was spending 14 hours a week in my car. 14 hours, can you believe that? Imagine having 14 hours back in your week now. How can you maximize that? What else can you do? Could you work out some more? Um, Kirby says actual rule number one is to put on clothes. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Actually, I wanna address that, that is a good point. Make sure you still create your day as if you were going to the office. It may seem silly, 
but it really has an impact if you get up in your shower, you wash your face, you brush your teeth, and you put some clothes on. And guess what? Shoes can really help. Do not work from your couch. <laughs> Don't be that person that's like, <laughs> working from the couch, right? Like put the clothes on and get yourself into that, that work mindset. Use that extra time in your day, go for a walk. Explore your neighborhood. If the weather is good, it's beautiful right here in California now. Get out, stretch your legs, keep moving. Um, you know, make sure that that movement is incorporated into your day as well. So we're talking about creativity and fun here. A lot of companies provide that built-in like movement, right? You're moving from meeting to meeting and now you may be plopped right in front of your desk with back-to-back -back meetings. Go just take a walk around your yard, get a little fresh air. Okay, action takers, if anyone else has any other tips, please drop them into the group or comment or DM me. If you're not a part of the Facebook group, go ahead and join us over at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash action taker coaching. I know that's a little bit of a mouthful. Try and say that five times fast. And if you need more help, if you want to go deeper, uh, if you would like additional levels of coaching, you can always find out more information at laurencosgrave.com and schedule a free consult with me over Zoom. We would meet just like this and we can work through build a custom plan for you that will help you work successfully from home. So action takers, I am always here for you. Have a great week, stay safe, be effective, and I'll see you online. Take care.